and you get your accommodation for free you get all your meals yes for free you get um meals and accommodation and you know water all those things is free um room and board all of that is free the only thing that you use your money on is personal items Did do you uh, did you get your license before you uh, started all pairing or uh, did you go overseas without a license? I went. I got my license before I started all pairing. And did you find um, you, were you driving a lot uh, initially when you first arrived, or are you driving a lot now? Yes, I drove a lot in my first week. I still Really? driving a lot. Yes. And is it quite intimidating driving on the other side of the road for you? It is. It is. Well, no, not driving on the other side of the road. That's not so much. That's not as intimidating as it may seem. What is though is that the roads are just so narrow compared to our South African roads that you really need to be. I I feel like you need to be a good driver, <laughs> or at least an okay driver. She was. It sounds like you're having an awesome time. So you've travelled a lot, and your 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 second year extension. Did you extend for the full twelve months? No, only No, six months. six months, eh? So you are you really nearly ready to come home now? I am. I am. I'll be coming home in in the mid, mid November. And what are your plans when you get home? May I ask? I'm going to the University of Pretoria. Wow, gee, you're looking forward to it. Very much so. Fantastic. <laughs> I can't wait to Do you start do my life. do you feel that this experience has been um, something that will genuinely help you with regards your further choices in life for example if you had to try and uh, look at yourself uh, a year and a half ago going to the university of pretoria do you feel now that your outlook on life is maybe slightly different do you feel that you're probably maybe a little bit more prepared more than anything i i do not at all regret coming here it was the one of the it was the best decision of my life i would have gone to the universe to university as a uh, surgical pediatrician but now i'm going as a political scientist so it definitely i didn't come here to find myself at all i came here to work but it it broadens your way of thinking and your way of living and the way you see the world you just know that things are not this small anymore there's there's so much more out there and so so much more that you can give coming here has It's made me. It's made me. It's made me grow so much that really words cannot describe this experience. You really have to experience it for yourself. But this is also something, of course, it has to come from. You know, if you are willing to grow and willing to take on the challenge of growth and experience, you get the best out of it. Ray, you know, um, an interesting thing, we have a lot of young girls and, and mothers coming into our offices and, you know, the um, the idea of being an au pair, some people envision it as, and envision it as being something like a, you know, a, quite a very a, a very low level type of job um, and some people think, well, you know, it's almost, you're going to get exploited uh, as, um, you know, cheap labor kind of thing uh, Yeah. overseas and, and that does happen in some countries but In your experience with all the au pairs that you've met uh, in the United States, uh, especially through au pair care, have you, you know, has it always been a positive experience? For me, yes. Of course, other au pairs have different experiences Right. because families are different. Yes. I will not, I'm not going to, you know, say that everything is perfect, but with my families, they are very supportive. They've been great throughout the process. And au pairing is not at all, um, in, from my experience, it has not been exploitive. It has not, it's not a low end job. A lot of people would give to be au pairs instead of just a plain nanny. You are a part, you're supposed to be a part of the family. You, um, you, you, you gain so much knowledge from being an au pair. because you have the opportunity to learn from people that live in the United States. So it's not, it's not at all low end. It's fun. It's, it's a good choice. It's not a choice that you're not coming here to be a, um, you know, to just be a, I don't know, a maid or a domestic worker or something. You're coming to, to, to be able to be a part of the family and take care of the kids at the same time. 
another thing I'd like to know about is your studies uh, whilst you've been over there because part of the J1 program, the all J1 program is that you have to obviously complete certain study modules. What did you decide to study? I decided to study music. <laughs> I went to a college. Um, you, not everyone can go to a college and this is something where the family pays $500 towards it and if it's more than that you can pay the rest towards that and I chose to pay um, a little bit more towards my my college experience because I wanted a real American college experience but that was in my first year in my next six months I chose because I wanted something different I chose to do weekend classes which the au pair, um, au pair care offers and many other au pair companies around um, there are classes just for au pairs as well. You can do that. But I, the first year round, I chose to study music because it's something that I won't do in college when I go back. And the second year, I chose to do art history and how it influences the world. So both very similar, I guess, but different at the same time. Amazing. Have you had any um, medical issues whilst you've been overseas and how has it been dealt with if, uh, if you get sick or what happens in that circumstance? Because obviously you, you do, through au pair care, have insurance, but have you had any bad yes. experiences with regards to that? No, I have not. I have just um, gone to the doctor for like a cold. That's the worst that it's come to for me. Um, and the... What happens is you'll go to the doctor. Some of them don't accept the insurance immediately. So you pay up front, but then you just claim your money back from the insurance. So you get your money back at the end of the day. Um, that's another reason why it's wise to always try and save, uh, have a little bit in your account for emergency reasons like that. Otherwise, if your family is kind enough, they can take you as well. And then you can um, pay your family back once the insurance gives you your money back. Um, but I think it covers mostly emergencies, the insurance, but you don't, I mean, I've never even really used it. I didn't need it. If you could stay longer in the United States as an au pair, would you? At this point, no, because I already know what I want. Um, and it's been so fulfilling that... I kind of feel like I got what I needed from it. I got the experience and I got the the time and I'm ready to move on to something new. However, I did consider it at a point. So it's not like it's I'm not doing it because it's so horrible. It's just because my time here has been so fulfilling and so well-rounded that I feel like I, you know, I've, I got from it what I, what I wanted. I got the, the best step year. If there's anything that you could say to a, a young au pair um, wanting to come over from South Africa, what do you think is the most important quality they, they, they should have to be a successful au pair? Determination and perseverance. <laughs> it gets hard because you're not living in your own, the comfort of your own home, so at first you'll feel like a stranger, but um, you have to be determined to 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 get to a place where you want to be. And I think perseverance is important because you have to keep pushing through even when you do feel homesick and even when you do feel like you don't belong. Um, and giving of yourself is important too because the family wants to know that you are giving to them as much as they are giving to you um, physically and emotionally. And um, I also think that it is wise to save money. Don't just come and, I mean, it's fine to spend and enjoy the first time because you're so excited. But like in my first year, if I knew, if I knew what I know now in my second year, I did it so differently because saving gives you so many options and, and it allows you to do everything you want to do. Well, not everything, but most of what you want to do. Um, it, 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 it gives you choices. So that's what I would tell other au pairs, save. <laughs> and meeting other South African au pairs, have you met quite a few overseas? Tons. They are everywhere too. <laughs> really? Tell me, yes. do South Africans uh, genuinely have a good reputation as au pairs in America? Yes. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a South African yes. au pair, but um, 
it's not just the, because we can speak English, um, but because they are just hardworking and um, not lazy and very good drivers compared to other countries. I must say we are South Africans and Germans are like great drivers. <laughs> so thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Have a lovely evening. Have a great